there are four dimensions or four kinds of destiny helpers let me run them very quickly in two or three minutes number one the first dimension of destiny helpers are called divine connectors divine connectors second kings chapter five there's no need turning there i'll just tell you the story remember the story of naaman the bible says naaman was the captain of the syrian army the bible says he was a valiant man in war but the bible says he was leprous are we together now and then the bible says one time they captured a slave girl and the little maid looked at him and said oh that my servant you know that the king that naaman would go to meet a prophet and etc etc he argued here and there but eventually he went to meet elisha and the bible says when he came to meet elisha elisha did not even go out to salute him he told him okay go to the jordan bath seven times you'll be cleansed and the man got angry he said i mean uh, with my pedigree this man did not even come out to acknowledge me and so on and so forth and it was the little girl that also advised him divine connectors don't have what it takes to bless you but they can link you with who has what it takes now listen very carefully these are the systems of dominion in the kingdom they may not have a job but he may be at the park holding a flyer that doesn't make sense walk in Canada and he's waving it he's a bus conductor and you are laughing at him yet you do not know that the vision you saw that's how it will come to pass you will collect that little thing and look at it and see a number and call jokingly and that becomes the next level of your life it takes discernment to identify divine connectors because they come in fashions that are not receivable you will need discernment a destiny connector can be your little child he talks nonsense every day except that that day the spirit of the lord is upon him mommy why don't we pray in this house and you think he's just talking as a little child and it's in that prayer you have the vision that will become a great business you need discernment divine connectors many of us pass them every day on the streets of lagos the bible says to learn from the ant. the bible says to honor all men do you know why because the list of people can still be used by god if god used a donkey he can use a bus conductor god can use the person plating you and while they are just in the salon and you are listening they will communicate one information that fills the gap you have been looking for sustained discernment believers divine connectors number two very quickly the second category of destiny helpers are called men of influence these are gatekeepers they have what it takes to bless you they have the resources the track record and the credibility no man thrives just like that there are times that you have the skill and the gift but you do not have access to the gate you will need someone who is already at the gate to recommend you their voices their track record their credibility can speak for you and they can lift you overnight these are men who can endorse you one speaking over your life from them there are people in lagos one signature can give you and your siblings a job it's true it's not an issue of a prayer point the answer is with them it is within their power sometimes believers say it doesn't matter god is only you i seek you are right but you are wrong you are very wrong and and sometimes if you don't understand this i tell you since listen unbelievers know this it's an advantage they do not trivialize men of influence men of influence men of influence many times we insult rich people we insult blessed people we we neglect people's track records because we cannot see what happened when they are in the cave of adulam you don't see it you only see the manifestation and you can see a blessed man and say what is there it was his father not a rich man if my father too was a rich man and you see the moment you dishonor men you close the door for access it's true isn't it amazing that in many territories it's foreigners that come and eat of the blessings in the land because the people there trivialize the nobles 
I never see men of influence and pretend they are not there. I honor them vocally, unashamedly. I'm friends to politicians. I'm friends to men of... I'm friends with people in the military. I don't fight them. I don't curse them. They need me, but I need them. There's, there's nothing to lie about. We live in a wicked world. <laughs> yes, sir. Are we together? The body of Jesus is hanging on the cross, pastor. No prayer warrior could bring that body down. It took a man of influence called Joseph of Arimathea to bring the body down. Please do not reject influence. Joseph is dying with his dream in the prison. Pharaoh is there with one decree that can set him to be the prime minister of Egypt. But the middleman forgot. The middleman did what? Forgot. And then when God was ready to leave Joseph, he gave a dream that no astrologer could interpret. And when, can, can, look at this. Do you know that there are certain levels of influence if you don't rise to God cannot use you in certain ways? Because showing you the vision is useless. You don't have the influence to do anything about it. Listen, there were covenant people in Egypt, yet God could not come and give them the dream of the famine coming because they didn't have the capacity to do anything about it. So he came to the Pharaoh himself. And when the Pharaoh had, if Pharaoh, if the Israelites were disturbed about the dream, would anything be done? But when the Pharaoh is disturbed, he can shake his government. And the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. Not God sent for Joseph, the king sent for Joseph. And they brought him out of his dungeon. Please understand this success system. It is a secret in the kingdom. This is what makes people to rise miraculously. One endorsement. Please help this person. Sign this and that. And the person looks at it and looks at you and says, Whose son are you? Say, Well, that's not the issue. Look, focus on what I brought. 